Today's gospel contains that one parable that most of us don't really like at all because it is really unfair or it seems to be unfair. This is the parable of the workers in the vineyard that Jesus tells and likens this vineyard to the kingdom of heaven. Saying how the, the, how the owner of the vineyard goes out and finds workers for the vineyard at different times of the day. He actually goes out five different times, so he's a very active owner trying to find workers for his vineyard. And he goes out at the beginning and then finally at the end of the day, and there's those who have not been laboring all day, but he gives them work for an hour. So then he, he pays them all, but he begins with the last ones and then finishes with the first ones. So the first ones believe that they will receive something more because the ones who worked for only one hour got the usual daily wage. But why did the master begin with the ones at the end? Because if he would have begun with the ones at the beginning and decided he was going to pay them all the same, he could have saved a lot of grumbling. Well, he's trying to teach them something. He's trying to teach them something, and that's the point of parables as well, is to teach us something. So he's trying to show them what... God's generosity really looks like, what God's generosity really looks like, and that the gift of this, the, of the pay, of the payment here, is the gift of the kingdom of heaven, that kingdom of heaven which is the gift of relationship with God himself, the gift of relationship with God himself, and God doesn't give himself in bigger or smaller amounts, nor can we merit the gift of God, the gift of his very self, by working more for it, or by putting more time in. This is God's gift to us, and it's a difficult thing to understand, especially coming from a culture where we give payment based on work, and those who don't work as much shouldn't get as much. Yet God wants to show how great his generosity is, and how he doesn't give himself in bigger or smaller amounts based on who we are, but he wants to give himself freely over to us. And so that is what Jesus is trying to teach his disciples today and he's trying to teach us to help us to understand what it's like to think with the mind of the master, to think with that great generosity which is God's gift of himself. So today we ask the Lord to help us to understand even in a deeper way what his generosity looks like for us and not only to believe it in the mind but to leave it but to leave it believe it in our hearts as well because this is the gift that God wants to give each of us even if we don't fully deserve it in our own standards because it is his free gift to us but so then also we might demonstrate God's generosity to other people and might welcome them into the vineyard which is the kingdom of heaven which is God's great gift to us